What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another Dragonflight gold making video. So today we are revisiting a printing gold method, or a gold making shuffle pretty much, and this is something we have talked about in the past, it is one of the first printing methods we talked about when Dragonflight came out, and it very quickly got to the point of no longer being profitable for a couple of different reasons, but now it's back to being profitable again, and I want to talk to you guys about it, and how to set up the entire shuffle to make it profitable for you. There are some things you might want to do to like optimize the gold per hour here to give yourself up to 30% more gold per hour while doing this shuffle so let's talk about that as well. Before that though I do want to give a massive shout out to everyone who's picked up my Dragonflight gold guide so far. Seriously the, the support and feedback on this has been absolutely insane and I can't thank you guys enough but um, yeah I'm just so happy that you're happy with the guide as well and if you haven't checked it out already it's currently a 170 pages long PDF document for gold making in this expansion and in World of Warcraft and Dragonflight in general. It also covers steady gold farms, so you have over 40 different Dragonflight specific gold farms, and when you purchase the guide you get access to an exclusive Discord server, where you also get early access to videos and exclusive videos as well, ensuring you maximum profit from these gold making methods. So if you want to check that one out, the link will be down below in the video description and in the pinned comment as well. And uh, you don't have to take my word for it though, I've gathered some feedback from other people who have purchased the guide as well, so you can see what they have to say about the guide and if it's been helpful or not so there we go with that being said i do want to get into the video and talk to you guys about this gold making shuffle or this gold printing method that is actually super good and it is in my in my opinion it is the best and the easiest gold making method right now because it requires little to no setup that being said, it does require two professions, but it does not require that many profession points or specialization points within each profession. So we're talking about a tailoring and enchanting shuffle, and for tailoring, the actual points here doesn't really matter too much. If you really want to min max and make some extra gold, you might want to go for sparing sewing for the resourcefulness procs right here. So getting that one can help your gold per hour a little bit, but it's such it, it, it's such a small amount that just have tailoring and that's pretty much enough so for tailoring there's nothing really you need to think about so just have a tailoring and that's it you might want to skill up tailoring a little bit so you can see for me i have 57 skill that's going to cost you what uh, 1000 gold and two minutes of your time to get to that point now the point where you have to get some specialization points will be enchanting now for enchanting once again your skill doesn't really matter here but you want to get the 25 skill to unlock specializations and when you have specialization you want to go for inside of the blue and you just want to put enough points into this one so 10 points and then unlock draconic disenchantment this way you will get more stuff back when you disenchant and you want to have 40 points spent in draconic disenchantment and to unlock this specialization right here you have to have 10 points into inside of the blue as well so in total you want to have 50 points in enchanting Now the big one right here is when you have 20 points you will now learn how to, uh, you will get a small chance to acquire additional vibrant shards when disenchanting items, specifically armor and professional equipment in this case, and we will be using some armor pieces here, and also you, for every single point you spend here, you will get 1% chance to acquire additional reagents when disenchanting items, so by having 40 points you get 40% chance to get more reagents while disenchanting, and from having the 20th point you will get more vibrant shards like baseline when you're disenchanting armory. So specifically what we're talking about for this shuffle right here is crafting bracers and for the shuffle that I'm doing we're crafting surveyors cloth bands. You can see these ones are very cheap to craft. They require four wielder cloth which is eight gold each so that is about 36 gold right there and four spools of wielder cloth which is currently 5.3 gold. So it's going to be about let's say 60 gold to craft this item Item. So 60 gold to craft one surveyor's cloth bands and you want to craft as many as possible of these ones in one go and you can have one tailoring character and one enchanting character or you can do like me and have all of them or both of them on the same character as well. I did used to have one tailoring character and one enchanting character previously but I have now gotten to the point where I have enough specialization points for enchanting on this character so I can do multiple things but yeah just uh 
The basics of the farm here is crafting surveyors cloth bands, sending them to yourself on the enchanting character, or just disenchanting them on the character you're currently playing if you have both professions on one character. Before you start doing that though, there's one thing you want to have in addition, and that is the aerated file of quick hands. If I just search up quick hands on the auction house right now, you can see there's currently a flask available, and getting tier 2 will increase your crafting speed by 24%, but right now the tier 3 one is kinda cheap as well, so for 120 24 extra gold, you will now increase your crafting speed by 30%. This one is a must have if you plan to do this for a long time. So let's say you want to craft a thousand bracers that will take you a long time and if you're doing this shuffle consistently to print gold, I definitely recommend to just craft as much as possible and using this one you can craft 30% more per hour which also pretty much gives you an additional 30% gold per hour and I'll be the first one to tell you right now if you just stand still and do this with the file, with the current prices, you're making about 70,000 gold per hour by doing this. Sure, there are some farms out there that are better, and 70,000 is kind of the baseline for most farms, but by doing this one, you're literally standing still at the, like wherever you want. You can stand still, click on one button, so you just uh, start here, you click craft all, right? So you use the flask right here, you can now see my crafting speed is 52%, and to craft these ones right here, we can just create all, and you can see how quick this goes. So all you have to do is just sit still in one location, click craft all, then go AFK, come back, disenchant them, and uh, do that on repeat. It is a super easy way to make a lot of gold super fast and it's my favorite way to make gold on a brand new character because you don't require any setup and if anyone's starting out with the game and you need some starting gold this would always be my go-to so once you have crafted a couple of bracers, you can either have a macro to disenchant the bracers themselves, which is simply done by using slash use disenchant and then slash use these bracers, or you can go into TSM destroy if you have TSM, and just click one button, so right here you can just click destroy next, it will disenchant that one for you, and just do that on repeat. So you can see right now we're getting two vibrant shards, six chromatic dusts, and every time you're getting two vibrant shards, you're making a bunch of profits right there. We can see right now, Vibrant Shards is selling for 84 gold each on my server. The crafting cost for one Surveyor's Cloth Bands was 60 gold. So if we just get one Vibrant Shard, we're already making profit every single time. But if we proc two Vibrant Shards, we're making a bunch of profit. So by clicking Destroy Next, like the amount of stuff I'm getting is in the middle of my screen right here. So six Chromatic Dusts. Every time you get Chromatic Dust, you will lose gold every time. So you want to get as many Vibrant Shards as possible when doing this. And and every, sometimes you proc two vibrant shards, sometimes you proc one, and you just do that on repeat and just disenchant as much as possible, as quickly as possible. So after disenchanting some bracers, you can see right here how many stuff we're getting. So we're getting quite a bunch of vibrant shards, and we're getting some chromatic dust as well. I've gotten 36 uh, vibrant shards so far from disenchanting, well, just about 30 bracers. So 30 bracers, 36 vib vibrant shards, definitely pretty good right there. We got some chromatic dust as well. Now we're not losing too much gold every time we get chromatic dust, but you will lose some gold every single time. But as you can see, sometimes when you're proccing vibrant shards, we're getting two of them. And if I scroll up, we're getting quite a few Vibrant Shards, I want to say it's about 50-50, maybe 40% Vibrant Shards and 60% Chromatic Dusts, but like... 50% of the time when you're getting vibrant shards, you're getting two of them. Right here, we got two of them three times in a row. We got two of them right here as well. So if you're lucky, you can make a bunch of profit by doing this. But even like baseline, you're definitely making a bunch of profit by doing the shuffle. And by using the aerated file of quick hands while doing the tailoring part of the shuffle, you increase the gold per hour by so much because you're able to craft so many of them while, while standing AFK. It is such a great shuffle to do while being AFK. The only bad part is that for the disenchantment portion, you have to act actually be playing the game and clicking the button for every single time you disenchant something. But um, yeah, for the tailoring part, it's super easy. And for the enchanting part, all you have to do is sit here, click one button over and over again, while watching Netflix, Twitch, or YouTube on a second monitor, if you have a second monitor. Either way, a super easy way to make some gold right now in Dragonflight. If you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like down below. And if you want more Dragonflight gold making content, consider subscribing subscribing to the channel as well, it would be massively helpful to my channel, and uh, yeah, that's basically the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again very soon.